hope all are fine and safe. In last class, we have discussed about the methods of epidemiology and classification of epidemiology and about descriptive epidemiology we have discussed and the steps of descriptive epidemiology we have discussed. Now we are going to discuss one, one of the important uh, method of epidemiology from observation studies only. In observation studies, we are having first step is descriptive epidemiology and the next one is uh, analytical epidemiology. I told you already itself and in analytical epidemiology it is further classified into case control studies and uh, cohort studies. So here before going to discuss about case control and cohort studies, we have to discuss some of the important features of uh, analytical method of epidemiology. S students as a descriptive epidemiology, in descriptive epidemiology, epidemiologist whomever he wants, he has observed and gathered the data regarding health related events. Here it is not like that. Analytical epidemiology is quite opposite to descriptive epidemiology. The important features of analytical epidemiology is that here whom, which population are interested to participate in the study, those population only you have to take and you have to conduct the study. Like in descriptive epidemiology, whomever uh, interested or not interested, just it is an observation study, no? just you have done the observation and you have drawn the results. But here not like that, whomever are interested in the study to participate, those population only you will select for conducting the study. This is one of the important future of analytical epidemiology. And the second important future of analytical epidemiology is, already I have told you, in descriptive epidemiology steps, the last step, step is formulation of etiological hypothesis. Just they formed a etiological hypothesis. Here, what the etiological hypothesis which is formed in the descriptive epidemiology, we are going to test the etiological hypothesis. Here we are not formulating any etiological hypothesis, but the hypothesis which is formed in the descriptive epidemiology, we are going to test or measure the hypothesis, etiological hypothesis which is formed in the descriptive epidemiology. This is one of the important future of analytical study. As I said, the analytical epidemiology is further classified into case control study and cohort study. Case control study is also called as retrospective studies. Case and control means what? Here before going to know how to do this case control study, we should know the important meaning of basic two terms that is cases and controls. So students, you are going to select two groups in your study. Why? Because cases means having some particular illness or disease. Controls means those who are not having any illness. Here what we will do? We will separate, we will separate the two population groups. For example, people with diabetes are cases. People with no diabetes are not only diabetes, any illness, it is said as controls. That means they are not having any disease. So why? So why the population who are having diseases, what they are doing? This population is not having diseases, what they are doing? What remedy measures they are following? And what health interventions they are doing? what health promotive habits are they are following. So by doing the differentiation, we can draw the interference and we can tell the population those who are having some health problem with their own population group. So this is cases and controls. And the important thing here is steps. Steps are one of steps of case control studies is first one is selection of cases and controls from the population. Second step is matching measurement of the population or exposure. Third step is measurement of exposure. Fourth step is analysis and interpretation. So the first step is measurement that is selection of cases and controls. For example, if you want to select cases as diabetes clients, control means no disease. And what you will do? You will matching, match the results. What is the age? Matching is very, very important. Why? Because you can select diabetes clients that is 40 to 50 years those who are having diabetes and controls also you have to select those who are not having diabetes with 40 to 45 years only. You should not select other population. So then what you have to do? You have to measure the exposure and after last one you have to analysis the data which you have gathered. And in this there is a design to conduct the study. So the design here it explains the thing important future you have to see is the time of the, the time go forwards and the study go backwards. Why? Because it is a retrospective study. It is also called as 
after anything happens we will go back and we will investigate that is the importance of the study and here from the population you will select the cases and controls and you will case control exposed not exposed and in control exposed not exposed and you will draw the inference of this thing so this is about what is that case control study and the next important future is cohort study very very important before going to discuss about cohort study we should know the importance of the meaning the meaning of cohort cohort is nothing but in epidemiology those population or group having same characteristics those are called cohort for example if you want to conduct the the effectiveness of family planning methods whom you will select we will select marriage cohort what is the meaning of marriage cohort those who are married on the same date those population you will collect that means march 11th is married someone you want to conduct a family planning methods effectiveness you will select the marriage cohort population that means those who are married on ma uh, march 11th the entire day marriage couples we will select and we will assess the effectiveness and if you want to uh, check the effectiveness of uh, immunization schedule what you will do you will select the take the birth cohort that means children who are born on the same date the example april 29th you will take april 29th children who are born on the same day and you will assess the effectiveness of immunization schedule and here again we are having some steps in cohort studies the first step is selection of study population second step is uh, obtaining data third step is selection of comparison groups fourth step is follow up fifth step is analysis and this is the steps of uh, cohort study and same way here there is a design the design is not like uh, in case control study here the time of study and the time and the study of uh, direction of study both are equal you will select the population from that population you will select uh, cohort groups and you will conduct the study if you see the uh, uh, design of this study you will easily understand and further this cohort studies are classified into two types retrospective prospective and combined retrospectives is one type of study i have told you and the prospective studies is also there and combined the epidemiologist will use both retrospective and prospective steps when it is essential so by this i am concluding my topic that is methods of epidemiology we have described and i have explained about uh, descriptive epidemiology and uh, analytical epidemiology in that case control studies and cohort studies i hope you understood be safe we will meet with the next class thank you take care